All right, good morning, boys and girls. I'm going to walk you through lesson 2.1. We're on our second chapter. Things are going by super quickly. The essential question this week and next several weeks will actually be, how do you group tens as 100s? And I'm going to walk you through um, some problems that will be very similar to what you'll see in your workbook. Uh, the first question in the listen and draw section is pretty simple. It's just circle groups of tens and then count the groups of tens. So I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to do this pretty quickly. So these rows are already in tens, and so I'm just going to loop the rows, excuse me, columns. I'll loop the columns, and I could just continue to do this in groups of 10. Now, you could do it crazy groups of tens, but it keeps it, it, it'll become unorganized quickly. So you can see that I've circled uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just double checking. I've circled four groups of ten. Four tens that would have a total value. Now that's different. There's four tens, but it has a total value of 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. So circling groups of tens is the first thing that you'll you'll have to do. After that, we're going to talk about how 10 tens is the same as 100. So these 10 tens, if I counted them by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, are the same as 100. So to, uh, to reveal these, 10 tens is the same as 1 100. And the way we write that is 100, no tens, no ones, which is what you see right here in the middle of the screen. All right, so let's practice that a little bit. Write how many tens circle groups of 10 tens. So not one ten, but groups of 10 tens. And then write how many hundreds. So here's a group of 10 tens. That's 100, 10 tens, 200, 10 more tens, 300, 10 more tens would give me 400. But you have to really listen to the question. The first one is how many tens are there? So there's 10 tens here, 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40 tens which is the same as four hundreds. And we write that 400, no tens, no ones. Okay, so it's 40 tens. That's the part that some people will find a little bit tricky. All right, let's look at next. All right, now this is a story problem and Mrs. Martin wants to buy 20 boxes of paper clips. There are 10 paper clips in each box. How many does she have? So the 10 makes it super convenient because you know how to draw a 10. Let me make my line a little bit thicker, like that. So that can represent one box. So I'm gonna do 20 boxes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm gonna do another 10, so I have 20 boxes. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's for a total of 20 boxes, and each of these is worth 10. So I can circle 10 tens, and I know that's equal to 100. And another 10 tens is another 100. So there are two hundreds. 200 paper clips in 20 boxes with 10 clips each. The tens just each represent a box. So it's very convenient when there's 10 in each box. Okay, for our test prep, it's which number has the same value as 30 tens. And again, don't let them trick you. It's 30 tens. So you got to draw 30 of them. Two, three, four, five. Six, 